Ryan Waters, the superintendent of public instruction in Oklahoma, had a funny way of describing the Tulsa race massacre. Check it out. Tulsa race massacre not fall under your definition of CRT. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't address that part. I would never tell a kid that because of your race, because of your color of your skin, or your gender, or anything like that, you are less of a person or, an, or are inherently racist. That doesn't mean you don't judge the actions of individuals. Oh, you can absolutely, that, historically you should. This was right, this was wrong. They did this for this reason. But to say it was inherent in the, because of their skin is where I say that is critical race theory. You're saying that a race defines a person. I reject that. So I would say you be judgmental of the, of the issue, of the action, of the content, of, of, of the character of the individual, absolutely. But let's not tie it to the skin color and say that the skin color determined that. One more follow-up. How does the Tulsa race massacre not fall under your definition of CRT? Uh, I, I answered it. That, that's my answer. And again, I, I feel the like Tulsa it, race massacre was a race massacre. Uh, How does it not uh, fall under CRT? I, I've, I've answered your question. I do appreciate very respectful. The hundred years of silence was about race. How does that not fall? How does that not qualify for CRT? <laughs> I, I appreciate your question. So as you heard there, he was questioned in regards to what he thought the Tulsa race massacre was about. And he said it wasn't about race. It's wrong to teach that. Uh, we should be teaching things about characteristics of the person and this, that, and the other. And my thing is like, y'all just going to lie until you can't lie no more. Now, that is my definition of lying to kick it. Now, we all know that a whole bunch of white men ran their pasty selves up into Greenwood, Tulsa, Oklahoma, also known as Black Wall Street, because they heard the lie that went forth that a black man did something inappropriate to a white woman. Those are the facts. And for a couple of days, those very white men went about destroying the livelihood and the lives of black people based on, let's call it what it is, a white lie. So how is Mr. Waters gonna sit up there and say, oh, it had nothing to do with race. See, that's what they're trying to do now. They're trying to erase what I call American history. That is not black history. That is American history. That is their history. And they are trying to rewrite it and deny it so they don't have to own it. Now, I'm going to say this. We don't care what he says or people who look like him say. We know that it happened. And also, black people, let's stop arguing with those devils about what they should be teaching our children. We should be teaching our children about American history that involved black people. Like they said in the nation, if they don't treat you right, they ain't going to teach you right. Right? So we know he's lying. I don't care. It's nothing new. They lie all the time, but let's stop expecting them to teach our children what we should be teaching them. Right? So anyway, y'all tell me what you think it is. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetra K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.